The First Battle of Marne The First Battle of Marne was fought between the 6th of September of 1914 up to the 12th of September of 1914. Germany fought against the Entente Cordiale, which was an alliance between France and Britain. Germany was scared of the dual alliance because a war with both would mean a war in two fronts. Count von Schlieffen created the Schlieffen Plan. He said that to fight against France and Russia, Germany would defeat France quickly. This involved marching through Belgium. Germans were approaching France when this battle began. The French spies put an antenna on the Eiffel Tower to hear what the German soldiers said when they were approaching France. The German soldiers said that they were very tired and that they didn't have enough troops to continue fighting. The military governor of Paris, General Joseph Simon Gallieni, met with Lord Kitchener, the British Secretary of War, and proposed a common counterattack as soon as the Germans arrived at the Marne. On the other hand, General Joffrey had prepared a new army in Paris, the 6th, commanded by General Maunoy. Gallieni proposed to use it to carry out an attack on the west flank of the German army of Pontcluc the 5th of September. On September 7, the 6th Army attacked violently, resisted with difficulty. The governor of Paris gathered all the taxes in the city to urgently send 6,000 reservists to the battlefield. On September 9, the 6th Army, defeated, retired after the Marne. Von Kluck made the mistake of following the 6th Army, since when he moved forward, he created a gap of 50 kilometers. Taking advantage of this situation, the 5th French Army and the British attacked the German armies on the two flanks they have left uncovered. Surprised by the southern attack, the Germans were forced to retreat to the Eisner River the 13th of September. Why was this battle significant? The Battle of Marne changed the course of the war and marked the failure of the German Schlieffen Plan, and for four years, the end of the War of Movements. It also marked the beginning of the trench warfare that characterized World War I. From the Allies, 112,000 were dead and 152,000 were injured. And from the Germans, 83,000 were dead and 173,000 were injured. France and Britain won this battle. However, the war continued on for four years. In this image, German prisoners of war are escorted by French when the battle finished. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed.